Hey guys, uh, I don't mean to brag, but I think I got the first damaged T50 in the country. I only know that because calling around trying to get parts, there were none. Uh, this was one of the first. This was the first batch they sent to the U.S. for us to demo and um, shoot things for and kind of get the word out for them. So it wasn't crashed. It was in a crash. It was in the back of a truck that was hit, and so this was uh, ejected out and it's still in pretty good shape. Uh, people ask about the durability of these all the time. You can kind of see for yourself. The main damage was the props and the M1 arm was snapped and tried to call around and could not get parts anywhere because they really just sent the drones over first. So we want to say thank you to Ronnie and uh, Michael from DJI for getting us these parts so quickly. These came through Talos, so Medi and Miranda, thank you all so much for the parts. Uh, we are going to have Grayson uh, up on deck today to repair the M1 arm. From our checks, everything else was good besides the props, the M1 arm, the, one of the harnesses back here we're going to have to uh, fix up, but otherwise it's pretty good. The M30 back over there in the corner, uh, I had a spray with it the other day. I did not realize how far we've come until you spend a day in the field with an with an M with a T30 versus a T50. Um, it's it's double. I mean, we're with one drone, we're able to get double what we could with that. So I am very very thankful for the T50s we have now. If you guys have any questions, any comments, anything, just send them our way. We'll be happy to get you taken care of. Thanks, guys. All righty. So today we have to replace some blades, um, and do our pumps our hose nut uh, went missing so we have to replace that and get this back running uh, there's a couple other odds and ends need to replace this right here and for the worst part we have to replace this so I will have to take the ECS module and the motor part and slot this one on put it all back together so yeah let's get it started so we have a couple things to connect um here's our part that we're going to be putting on uh, so you have a big pin adapter that's going to go to your motor uh, then you have a hose opening which attaches to that hose right there and a little baby pin uh, that's going to go to this little red one right here uh, you got to make sure that you have a hose nut Basically, all you do is you just slide the hose nut on, uh, attach the nut, and you know, screw it in. And then you attach all this, and then three bolts up top right here, that uh, connect right there. That will be it for this. Um, there is some issue with the 40s. Uh, this piece right here comes apart, and the best way that I've found to fix it is to actually spin this. It'll come off, and just push it back up, and then tighten it again. Um, that's what we've had to do with some of our 40s and a couple other guys that we've set up we've had to do that for so like I said we're going to uh, attach this hose right here maybe we won't because that's not the right size uh, and if you're ever taking these off uh, I found the easiest way to do it is to get it like it is currently. Ooh. Uh, get it like it is currently and pull your hose through first and then your connectors. Uh, it makes it a lot easier. So just like that. And your big pin connector will most of the time not go through. You take that small connector to that other small connector, yeah. just like so. Uh, make sure it clips in. Uh, the big piece is actually going to face in. Um, so you take that, connecting it to the hose is actually the hardest part. Actually, before that, I'm going to plug this into our motor uh, and get it in. 
uh, make sure that it clicks. All right, uh, it clicked, so it is good. Uh, and then, like I said, you'll screw this bottom piece in with screws. Uh, and there's two holes that you'll put this pump onto. It is done. Uh, so that is your final product. Uh, these are these holes that I was talking about that you're going to put little nubs through uh, and then your arm will be complete there. So putting this on, three tiny screws, uh, all equal. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, I don't know what size uh, Allen key they are, but it should have came with it. Uh, your drone. In a truck, you know, when you're replacing tires, uh, you don't tighten it all the way down and then go to the next one and tighten it all the way down. Uh, so this one's just kind of hand tight right here. I'm going to go to this other side and just barely tighten it uh, so it catches. And then I'll put that third one in and then start tightening them. There is blue Loctite on most of these screws on your T40, your 50. Uh, that might be something that you put back on it. Uh, for us, we do maintenance a lot, so it's not really necessary. Um, so what I did was I took apart this uh, bottom part against the sensor right here, and it makes it easier for me to put this, uh, this top piece on this. Uh, without sitting there messing with it for 20 minutes. I haven't introduced myself, I don't remember. Uh, my name is Grayson Chapman. I am uh, the first pilot for Southern Runoffs, and I run one of the spray teams. Uh, for putting these on, back on, if you ever loosen them, uh, they have to be turned a very specific way. So usually, so around here, and then it'll just slide up. And you just lock it in. I went ahead and locked that. Uh, That is it. We will move on to the arm next, I guess. Uh, and then we'll do blades after. All right. So we have two. First off, this is our replacement part. Uh, it has nothing on it. Um, it's just this, the part. Um, so what we do is I'm just going to take everything off and hopefully it's easier than it looks. Bingo! First try. I think I'm going to try to get this lever off. Uh, looks like it should only be just this and maybe this. Um, I'll just kind of have to toy with it and figure it out. So, oh, once you get this piece off, you can see uh, this is this piece right here is threaded onto there. So, just and. And to get it off, and half off, uh, on the back of this, there is a Allen key. Uh, you Allen key it, and this pin will drop. Uh, this will come out, and you transfer it over to this side right here. 
Oh. Take that out and here's our metal piece. We'll transport it over. We'll take our pin right here and come to that hole right there. We take this piece and the nut that just came from it. And put the nut on the short end, this end. Uh, and take this and just thread it on. Maybe. And I get it to a point where it closes. Sorry about the horrible noises. I hate it too. So. Uh, for your motor down here, you have four screws, uh, two here, two here, one on each side, I guess, one there, there. Uh, four screws total, and it will uh, show your motors. These your ECE, ECS, these are your ECS modules. Um, they, you know, if something happens, these protect your motors from going out. They're really important. Uh, we'll have to move those over as well. Here are your motors. Well, a lot of people probably never seen these. These are ESC modules. Uh, these connect to your motors. See this one right here. Um, and it protects and keeps it safe. If something goes red. Hey, these these go first before your motors do. Yes, you need that the wires go to the ESC module. So have to take apart the ESC module and put them onto that first. Uh, I think it's gonna be easiest if we get both of these sides off. Um, and then you'll be able to reach both of them screws that is holding them together then we can push these bars into them and voila take your whole motor off here so i will take that apart and switch it over and we'll throw the new arm on and you'll have a platform to put the motors onto. Yeah. This is not a ground. This is your uh, sensor for if your arms are not locked. And we'll give you a sensor that say make sure arms are locked. Um, here are your ends. This is what the inside of a T50 looks like. Just four wire, six wires, a lot. Six wires and an arm piece. Uh, on the front, the back, probably the same thing, just has a hose. Yeah. Once you fix this new one on here, you take these and run them through. The opening right here. Then you're going to take your sensor right here. And it's going to go this part facing out. This one right here is going to go on the bottom. tighten this up and we will do the motors. Light is on light is on the inside. And we 
just a little bit. Slide it on. Same thing, you know, screw it on the bottom. You're going to take these motors apart and uh, all you've got is three um, three Allen keys right here. And you take those out, there's three more on the other side. Flip it over and do the same thing. Yeah. So pull it off. And this is, I guess, trash. I'm not going to use it for anything. Uh, so see, this one says lower right here, uh, L facing out. Uh, and it will line up. And you throw the this one on with the U facing out. Tighten all these. Um, this one is upside down, so you put your bolt through there. Go on to plug these back in. Uh, I marked mine. See so which one is the top. So this is the top. Home cover on. I'm going to do a run through. And I'm going to turn the drone on, uh, see if there's any errors or anything. And, uh, you know, if there are, we can fix them. If not, and then we will throw the uh, thing back on. And that will be that. We have a unlock one, not secure. Let's see if our arm lock sensor works. It does. Uh,